Elementary OS is one of those Linux distros which came out and took the Linux world by storm. Elementary OS very quickly rose on the distro ranks and made a loyal community out of its users. Elementary OS is probably best known for its ridiculously gorgeous Pantheon desktop environment. And today, we will be having a look at the latest release of Elementary OS that is Elementary OS 5.0 Juno. Welcome to Linux Techs. Hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest of my Linux videos. To begin with, Elementary OS 5 looks great. It's based on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. The Pantheon desktop is very graceful to look at. The desktop is minimal but provides a very familiar approach to both Linux users and Mac users. The bottom dock is where you carry out the most of your work from. Your favorite applications are pinned here. You can search for other apps on the application menu on the top left. The application menu has two layouts. One is search oriented while the other one is category wise display of the applications installed. A small but an amazing set of gorgeous wallpapers are included. A lot of work has gone into the looks and feel department of elementary OS and it is obviously visible. But the workflow could have been a lot better. The default settings hamper the workflow very much. For example, pressing the windows or the super key brings on this informative overlay instead of launching the application menu or the dock below. This should be changed in the settings by the user himself. My question is why? And the window controls are horribly placed. The close button on the top left and the maximize button on the top right and the absence of the minimize button make the workflow just terrible. Elementary OS 5.0 comes with a very small number of applications out of the box. A minimal and bloat free system is presented to you. Even the essentials such as an office suit and stuff like the Firefox browser are not included. This in my opinion is a plus point as it allows you to build the desktop as you want it. As you exactly want it. The app center is the software store of elementary OS and it doesn't fail to impress. Along with the regular stuff, App Center brings to you a number of curated software which are specifically designed for elementary OS. I really like what App Center had to offer. I mean the curated software are really impressive. They are pay what you want software but I think they are definitely worth the price tag. The quality of the software is good. It's like elementary OS wants to build its own ecosystem and from what I see, I am putting my money on it. Elementary OS 5 has a pretty neat performance. Although it's not something I would recommend for lower end hardware because its Pantheon desktop has animations and effects that appear to struggle on older computers. But on a computer with even the modest specs, elementary OS runs fast and performs great. The OS itself is very responsive and could be a great choice for gaming on Linux. Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, so it provides a rock solid stability. It is completely suitable to be used in your business, for development, for students and as a home computer. It is highly dependable. And since it's based on Ubuntu, all the software available for Ubuntu generally can be installed on elementary OS too. Now Ubuntu has the highest support from software and hardware vendors in Linux world. So I would rate the software availability of elementary OS a solid 10 out of 10. While elementary OS is very really likable and is an amazing operating system for desktops and laptops, I did find some things that are bad. The first one being the very unreasonable placement of window controls and the missing minimize button. And to correct this, you need to install an application that is not even available in the app center. How convenient. The second very huge issue being the driver installation. Ubuntu provides a very simple way for you to install the proprietary drivers for your graphics card. This amazing feature is stripped away in elementary OS. I cannot even begin to understand why would they do that while Pantheon desktop itself needs a competitive graphics power to run smoothly. Elementary OS does not allow you to change much of the looks and feel of the desktop in the settings. There is however a separate application called Pantheon Tweaks which allows you to install different themes, icon packs, modify the desktop and more. But this is not installed out of the box by default and also not available in the app center. Again, why? Now let's agree that the issues discussed previously are pretty basic in nature and they should have been handled. Now these issues alone made me not love elementary OS. I like it but I could have loved it. As for you, if you like the operating system overall, 
I would definitely recommend that you go ahead with the installation. The issues can be fixed with a little googling around. And there are a ton of things in elementary OS that will captivate you. Well that's it for today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below to stay tuned for more Linux stuff. This is Linux Tech signing out.